Hi and welcome to Trench Tech. Today we're going to show you how to use CCleaner. This is a program that goes through and cleans out temporary files that makes your computer run a little bit faster and it also removes um, potential malware that's hidden in there. So first thing you'll want to do is go to their website to download it. It's piriform.com slash cleaner. We'll have a link to that in the description below. As a technician, I always like to run the portable version, but you can just download an EXE and install it on their computer. Teach them how to use it, which I don't recommend, or you can just, again, have the portable version that you use. So the first thing you'll want to do to get the portable version is go to their website, click download. The first, You'll see the different versions that are available, but you'll want to scroll down all the way to the bottom. There's a build section, and in here there is the regular installer, the portable installer, and a slim install. I always get the portable, it downloads as a zip file, extract it, you can place it on a jump drive and it is good so that you can just use that to help repair your customers PCs. So I've already downloaded it, we'll go ahead and close this uh, because it is required to run CCleaner to close all the browsers. Based on what version of Windows you have, there's a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. This is a 32-bit machine, so we'll go ahead and run the 32-bit version. When CCleaner loads, you'll be set to the Cleaner tab. You'll have Windows, it'll show you all the things that it can do, and then Applications. I always leave it everything checked, just because it goes through and does a nice cleaning of everything. You can uncheck things if you had the paid for versions, that's when the other items become highlightable. So the first thing you'll want to do is analyze the system. What this does is it goes through and checks all those different directories. It can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the speed of the computer or how many files it is scanning. So we'll let this scan for a minute and then we'll talk about what it does afterwards. So now that the scan is complete, you can go through and see that it wants to remove just over a gig of temporary files, and you can see what files are in there. So it's got some Internet Explorer temporary directory, some Windows log files, um, Chrome cache files, cookies, um, Google Earth temporary files. So it goes through and it lists out everything that it wants to remove and you run the cleaner. This will go through and delete everything that it is suggesting. This usually takes a little bit less time than the analyzer, but sometimes it can take just as long. The only downside to CCleaner that I can think of is that if there are multiple users on the account, um, you would have to go through each user and run this process. It does not, at least in the free version, I'm not sure about the premium versions, but in the free version it only does the local account. There's a second software, we'll put a link to it in the description, we'll make a video as well, that does all of the user accounts. Once this is done, it just tells you that it's complete. Um, you will find that some technicians use the registry cleanup. I choose not to use it because I have found that it ends up corrupting the registry more than it does repairing it. So at that point, this is what you can use CCleaner for, is to clean up temporary files. It works quick, and it does a good job. 
If you like this video, please push the like button. Please subscribe for more videos on software. If you have a software suggestion that you'd like other techs to know about, leave a comment in the description, a comment below. Again, thanks for watching the video.